Hello there Reason People, Pooh Bear here and welcome to my channel. And today we're going to be looking at a little combinator that I've put together and it's to do with side chaining the master bus compressor but we're not going to be using the master bus compressor which is actually in the SSL itself because this is Reason 11 and we can now use the rack extension uh, version of that and it will save obviously wiring things up in the future. Um, Basically, for those who don't know, there is actually a great video out there by Props, and it's called the Advanced Master and Focus on the Master Bus Compressor. It's a video which is actually worth watching. However, I did do a counter video to this because the principle behind this video is great of what they're trying to set up. However, the execution wasn't so great because they were using a dirty signal as their sidechain. Um, and that's what I did as a counter. Anyway, this happens to have come up on the forum. I was chatting to a few people about it. And I suddenly thought to myself, hey, we could actually turn this actually into a combinator. So let's actually have a look at the combinator. Um, there's two ways you can load it up. Um, and principally, we're going to be doing it. <laughs> we are loading it the same way. <clears throat> Just in case people don't know, in the SSL, if you are a bit tight on space, you can actually just double click on the headers and you can uh, just collapse them down. Um, this is a, <laughs> you can actually load a combinator up straight from here. All you need to do is obviously click on the browse and I'm just going to browse for my combinator patch and there it is, it's called Sidechain Master Compressor. I'm going to load it up. It's now loaded up and I've got full control of it already from here. I can obviously bypass it. I can enable the side chaining if I just want the master bus compressor only. And up here, I can actually hear this uh, option here will actually give me the ability to hear what I'm actually going to side chain with. Um, and this crossover point actually will affect what we're actually going to be using as the actual side chain information. Now, all this duplicates itself down here in the master section. So these controls here are exactly the same control. So as you can see, if I move this compressor up here, this knob down here is moved, if you notice that. Yeah, and vice versa. I can obviously move that up and down. And anything I click on and off here is going to reflect up there as well. So it's very straightforward. And obviously the second way to load this up would be from here as well. You just click on show program and obviously click on your little button and then you can double click and you can load up a combinator patch straight into here. So this is actually the combinator itself. Um, I've set it up in such a way that obviously you can drop other inserts pre this. Um, if you drop anything post it, you need to think about if you're using the mono option because I happen to build in a, <laughs> build in, build in a mono switch purely because I was using the stereo imager and I thought, oh, well, I can collapse the stereo field right down and uh, use that. Um, yeah, and have myself a mono. It also disconnects one of your feeds, so it's actually only going out your left channel only. So the mono button will collapse your stereo feed and output the information to the left channel only. Um, so just bear that in mind if you're sort of putting some post effects after the compressor. Um, and that's the other advantage of using this combinator, say over the master buses, you can actually do pre and post in the same place. Whereas if you were using the real master bus compressor and you set it up the way I semi recommended it and then you wanted to have post um, uh, inserts, you had to do it on the hardware out. And for those who did watch that or haven't watched that, if you break the master fader to the hardware out and what I'm talking about there is if we, sorry, I've got my cables in hidden. So if I break this to that, then you would never see clipping on your master fader. Yeah, that, that just stops working because of the, the, the way the logic works. When this is connected up to your hardware out, you will actually see clipping and it'll actually show you clipping at the top. When you break this and, and put another effect, even if you put in something as, as silly as the, um, the audio, uh, spider, say the audio spider, and you didn't do anything with the signal, it will still break that connection to there and hence you'd never see clipping here, even though they could be clipping on the hardware out. So just bear that in mind. Um, it's very, very straightforward. Uh, I cheated a little bit by using a stereo imager to start with when I first looked at this because it meant I could actually split the signal without having to use a spider. <laughs> but as you can see, 
I've decided to use a spider in the end, but the only reason I've used spider is because I wanted to have this option where I could actually just hear the sidechain info. So uh, let's have, have a bit of music. So by clicking that on, I'm now listening to what I'm actually going to be using to affect the compressor with. I'll turn it off, and obviously I can now hear the full signal. Um, so that's what this spider's used for. Um, we're going down to two separate AB switches because one is going to affect if the side chain itself is going to go on and then one is also to do with the, the mono. So even though I've got stereo mono here, you shouldn't be changing it here because all you're going to do is literally disconnect your left channel if you change it here, whereas the mono button at the top it collapses the stereo field down and then it switches it to mono. So just bear that in mind if you come here and change that to mono, where well, you're not really changing it to mono, you're just outputting on the uh, left channel only. So you've lost your stereo field. Um, so yeah, so the wiring of this looks a little bit messy, but it really, 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 really is straightforward. It really is nothing more than just splitting out, as I said, that side chain information so we can hear it. And then we're splitting it again so we can either have it in uh, full stereo or we collapse it down. As I say that stereo, we collapse that mono down. That's, that's really what that's all doing at the back. So if you wanted to obviously add any sort of effects at the end here, then obviously this is where you'd actually come out from that output into your effects. And obviously at the top here, if you want to drop something in, um, you should be able to just drop something in to be perfectly honest and it should auto root it, wire it for you. Um, if not, yeah, that will go into your effect and then from your effect, you then go obviously back into your audio in here. So actually, let's uh, have a look at this a little bit in action very, very quickly. I'm going to set it up uh, in a way so it's a little bit more extreme so we can really see things going on. Um, but obviously, when you're coming down to do this stuff, you're going to tune it into your, your own style of music. So I've got this bit of uh, music on in the background. So if we take off the side chaining, what we don't want, because this is, this is meant to be such a subtle effect that we're putting on our master bus compressor, we don't want it to be hammering. And at the moment, you can actually hear it's hammering away. So by enabling the side chain, what I'm doing is I'm just taking that top bit of information to use as the side chain effect. And you can see we've now got that needle, it's not going too crazy. Take it off, you can see we really are starting to pump it a bit more. And you might be able to hear it as well. A, yeah, because it's pumping a bit much, it's a bit flatter there. And it's got that little bit of sparkle with it enabled. Let's actually move this onto a We bypass it all together. You can hear there's a subtle difference at the very, very high end. How well that's going to come across on YouTube, I don't have a clue. Um, but as I said, really when we're doing stuff with that master bus compressor, uh, especially at this sort of stage, is it is such a subtle effect. It shouldn't be any kind of EDM pumping effect. You know, you really want to be doing that down in your, your mix channels. Anyway, I think I've waffled enough. So thank you for watching and bye for now.